Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your guy Realistic and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the brand new AutoTune Pro 11. But first before we get into that, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you can stay up to date with videos just like this in your feed. And if you do find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button because believe it or not, it does go a long way to help the channel grow. Because if you like the video, then it tells YouTube that maybe other people might like the video and then it will show it to them as well. So let's dive into this brand new AutoTune Pro 11. This isn't going to be as in-depth as a lot of my reviews simply because I got a lot of stuff going on right now and I'm trying to fit as much stuff as I can. Plus, if there's any review video that I can shorten up, it's an auto-tune one because I have so many videos on auto-tune on my channel already and how auto-tune works. So if you really want to know how a lot of these parameters work, I'll throw something up at the top of the screen there for you to be able to click on that and watch. If you want a little bit more in-depth on how auto-tune actually works, and who knows, maybe at the end of the video, I'll just quick run through the, the main four parameters and, and talk about how those work. But let's dive into the new features of AutoTune Pro 11. So we got a couple new features here. The one that I'm most excited about is this Harmony player here. And we're going to dive into this in just a moment. This is definitely what I'm most excited about. Some other key features that we have that are added here is we have a smart MIDI hardware mapping now that is just going to give us a lot more improvement with our MIDI functions here. It's just going to give us greater control and precision when it comes to our production workflow. Uh, we do have some new tools inside of our graph mode, and we have some updated zooming and navigation tools as well. If you don't know what graph mode is, this allows us to go ahead and record audio inside of it. So if we do that, I don't know wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. And then from there, we can go in and manually move things around where we want the pitches to actually go instead of having it do it automatically. Auto tune. And then our other key change here is just a little bit of a change to our GUI here, but it still keeps a lot of the same things that we were used to seeing with our last Auto Tune Pro X here. And some of the other things that uh, have followed from the previous version is our ability to resize, which is awesome. God, that looks so great when it's uh, blown up like that. Still works with auto key. We can turn auto key on or off. We also have our input type that still has our learn mode. So if we hit that, all we got to do is hit play and then it will analyze and tell us what they what auto tune thinks the input type should be. So let's try that out. I don't know you too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Drink too much, so think I you driving my song. So after that, AutoTune tells us that it believes that we are an alto tenor with her voice. So we'll go ahead and keep it there. Key and scale is located in the same place. We still have our modern and classic mode. Remember, cl classic mode brings us back to that hard, gritty sound of AutoTune 5. So we have that option. Still have our format tool over here. So if we turn that on, we can make the vocal sound more male or female, depending on if we bring this knob closer to the right or left so let's check that out i don't know way too long no you got me sweet and calm everybody leave us alone drink too much so think i are driving us home we have our transposing over here so we can go up or down a few notes and detuning too if we need to have it in a different tuning so a lot of that stuff is the same and then we got our settings over here with all of our preferences here. The ability to flip in and out between low latency. Low latency is really great for when we're recording. So then the artist can hear it in almost real time. And then preferences here too. We can change the appearance and everything like that. Mine's always set to system so I know what time of day it is. But again, most people are team dark mode. So most people's auto tune is going to look like this. However, I'm going to flip back to system so mine can go in and out between dark and light mode depending on the time of day. So all of that is still the same. Now let's talk about the big key feature that is new. And I'm really excited about this because I think it's awesome. And I think it sounds awesome because I've played around with this a few times before I did the review video. So to access our Harmony Player, 
We go right up here underneath our modern and classic, and there's a little power button, so we'll flip that on, and now our harmony player is now engaged, and to be able to control the functions of that, we're gonna go right here in the center where it says harmony player and hit that, and now we have a four-part harmony machine here that we can control. And you'll notice over here to the left, we still have all of our main auto-tune features just shrunk down. We still have our retune and flex tune, human eyes and natural vibrato. So as we're adjusting the harmonies, we can still adjust those as well. But we have four part harmony here and we can turn them on or off so we don't have to always be using four. We could use less and each one can go all the way up to two octaves or all the way down to two octaves below and everything in between, a seventh above, a seventh below, a third above, a third below. And we can switch those around between each one. So to be able to get this engaged, there's a few different ways. We can just hit the trigger button and you can automate that so it can go in and out. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. But if we let go, it's no longer gonna work. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. So it could be really great for automation purposes or our MIDI triggering. We could definitely do that. Or if we want to keep the harmony running through the entire vocal track, we have this little latch button here. So if we hit this lock button, now if we hit trigger, it's going to stay on the entire time. I don't want to wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us. And we have the ability to lower the volume or turn the volume up. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Have the ability to change the format. Again, more male or female sounding, depending on if we go further left or right. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Drank too much, so think I are driving us home. There's also some panning knobs here. Right now, this is just a mono track, but I did duplicate this to turn it into a stereo track. So in a little bit, we'll play around with these panning on that, that stereo track. But if this was a stereo track, we'd be able to pan the harmonies, you know, a little bit differently. So if we wanted this third above to go, you know, left and then this third below to go right, we totally have the ability to do that. So let's throw in another harmony here. That was a third above. Let's go a third below. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. And then let's just go ahead, just for the fun of it, let's throw in an octave above here. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Okay, so here's some other really cool features, especially when it comes to this harmony player here. All of this right here works just for the harmony player. It does not affect our lead vocal. And I'm excited about this because we have right here a high pass filter to be able to cut the lows off of our harmonies. So this is, this is great actually. So now we don't have to worry about EQing these separately. So all we'll have to do is engage this. We can choose how much we want our slant to be right here. And then we can choose how much we want to roll off. I don't wanna wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Drinks. We also have the ability to change our attack and release on the envelope of our signal here just for the harmony engine. And we also have a gate here and we can control that gate with a sidechain input if we want. And later when we switch to being a stereo track, you'll see we'll be able to control the stereo width as well. And we also have a lot of functions over here to be able to give these harmonies a little bit more of a human element if we want. We have a naturalize knob here and this right here is going to adjust our vibrato here. And so the more that we have this at zero, it's going to keep the original vibrato. And the more that we increase this here, it's going to allow more of it through. And then we have our transition time here. And let's see what that says here. Higher values result in slower note transitions. So probably get a little bit more of a, a gradual feel the more that we increase that. 
pitch variation, that one's pretty self-explanatory. The more that we increase this, the more that there's going to be more pitch variation, which could give it more of a, a natural sounding performance if, if we want. Same with time variation. Closer this is to zero, the more it's going to be on with the original time. And the more we increase this, the looser it's going to sound, which again could give it a more human element. I don't want to wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. So I did that drastically so you could really hear how much of the timing difference could be. But, you know, we're usually not going to be that drastic. That's more just to show you what it can do. I don't know wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Yeah, that does give it a little bit more of a, of a human tone to it. So why don't we go ahead and check out this stereo track here for a moment. It's literally the same thing, just duplicated to be a, a stereo one but that way you can see what we can do with our options with our harmony player here to be able to pan them left and right so let's check that out i don't know wait too long no you got me sweet and calm everybody leave us alone drank too much so think i are driving us home so this is definitely an over-the-top version, but on purpose to really show you what it can do. If this was actually in a, a mix, I'd probably chill down a little bit. But yeah, it just allows us to be able to pan things. So for instance, let's say here we have this uh, a third above. Third aboves always sound good. So let's also do another third above and we'll pan one left and we'll pan one right and then one of them. We'll kind of switch the, the format a little bit just to give some loose variation. And let's check out how that sounds. Let me mute the other harmonies just for a moment. I don't know wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Every and then we have our stereo width over here. So the more we increase that, the, the wider these harmonies will feel. I don't know wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. I'll probably pull back a little bit on this high pass filter just to let some of those lows in. I don't know wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Drank too much, so think I are driving us home. Drinking and all dead. Tell me on a time move so fast. All right, let's go ahead and give this a little listen inside of our mix here. See how that sounds. I don't know wait too long. No, you got me sweet and calm. Everybody leave us alone. Drink too much, so think I are driving us home. Drunk yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, especially when, you know, I'm actually mixing and I can really, you know, mix this in and, and tuck it underneath and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you a drastic version so you could hear how this sounds. But. This is going to be a lot of fun. This this is going to be cool. I'm I'm was not expecting this. I'm glad that we have this though. So let me go ahead and flip off this harmony player for the time being here, and we'll go and check out some of the other things too that we got here. Uh, in our vibrato here, if we go down to our advance here, we are able to change some things with our vibrato here, like the. The pitch, the amplitude, the format, we can kind of do some onset rate, uh, rate, we can do different variations. So that's really nice that we have that ability here. Same with our uh, advanced mode here with our scale, we can still remove or bypass notes completely. Um, this is also really nice if we need to add in a note, like uh, if we were in a harmonic note or something like that. Uh, for this, that harmonic, we're in C minor, so that... B flat would just get down to a B natural. So that's really nice to be able to add that if we want. Those are all the new features, though, that are in Auto-Tune. Other than that, it's still the amazing, awesome Auto-Tune that we know and love. We just have a better version with a really cool new toy in here, Harmony Player. I have gone through the Auto-Tune settings a lot, but... Let's just go ahead and just, in case this is your first time ever watching one of my video, like, why don't I just quick run through these main four knobs and talk about what they do and, and how they work. So we have our retune 
knob here, that's the one that most people grab and go for if they want to sound more like Future or T-Pain or more robotic. Closer you get to zero, the more you're going to sound like that, the more that you back this off, the more natural it's going to sound because what this does is it tells Auto-Tune how fast it needs to correct a note. So the closer it gets to zero, the quicker it's going to work and the more you're going to sound like a robot, which sometimes that sounds really cool. All right, our flex tune knob over here is the more that we increase this, the more that it's going to let us get away from the scale. What do I mean by that? Right now we are in C minor. So that means that we right now are only within the confines of the notes that are in C minor, which would be C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and then back to C. We can't go any notes in between in auto-tune it won't let us so if we wanted to add in an f sharp while we're singing we wouldn't be able to do that because auto-tune is just going to pull us right down to an f natural however if we switch over to our flex tune the more that we increase this the more that it's going to allow the singer to sing chromatically and to sing outside of the scale which sometimes can give a really cool performance a more personal performance and allow you to do different vocal techniques like melisma, which is where you take one syllable and make it into multiple syllables. And this will allow us to do more of that. Humanize, the more that we increase this, what it's going to do is for sustained notes, notes that are held out longer, auto-tune is going to ignore those notes the more that we increase this. Why? Because uh, the longer a note is held out, the more our ears are going to be able to tell if it's being auto-tuned or not. And that's why on a sustained note, when humanized is engaged, it's going to tune those notes a lot less. But our faster notes will still be tuned uh, with our auto-tune there. So it can just kind of give a little bit more of a more natural sound and a less robotic feel if we want it to. Then we have our natural vibrato right here. This is totally independent of our pitch settings here. And this is meant to solely just tame the natural vibrato of a performance. At its default setting at zero, it will not affect the original vibrato at all, but adjusting it will minimize the vibrato allowed or it will maximize it we can add a little bit more and vibrato is just that that natural shake of our of our voice which can make a a vocal sound very personal and very emotional if we want so those are how those knobs work the flex tune and the humanize i suggest to use these for people that can really sing for people that can't sing so well, you probably want to keep this a lot closer to zero. You'll be doing them a favor because the more that you increase these, if they can't sing, it's going to make it pretty apparent that they can't sing. But if they can sing, this is going to help them out and make them sound a lot more natural. So when we're hearing somebody like Ariana Grande or Adele or somebody that sings really well, they're still using auto-tune because auto-tune sounds modern and everybody has auto-tune on their vocals just so they sound modern. But for somebody like an Adele or Ariana Grande that can really sing their butts off, it helps to be able to have these in there so we can get that modern sound of auto-tune, but also still be able to not take away from how awesome their voices are naturally. So that's my review of the brand new Auto-Tune Pro 11. Man, I'm so glad I got this with the, the Harmony player. Trust me, I'm definitely going to be using this. You're going to hear this in a lot of my mixes coming up, especially with how many singers I work with. I'm going to have a lot of fun like that. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said before, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if this video was helpful, be sure to help that like button because it will help this channel grow. And the more this channel grows, the more I can do videos like this. All right, till next time, y'all. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. When you like a video, it tells YouTube that you liked it and maybe other people will like it as well. And also be sure to check out my online mixing and mastering courses, the art of beat mixing, the art of vocal mixing, and the art of mastering all available now. And if this video was helpful and you're looking for other videos, you can watch a video here, here, and here. All right, until next time, y'all.